Hey guys, here's another um, U substitution problem. This one is x squared times the square root of 2x to the 3 minus 4 dx. Um, you might not know that this immediately is a U substitution problem. Um, but maybe the the best way even to make a guess is um, you know that it's not integration by parts. Um, if you can kind of rule things out, you know it's not integration by parts. You know it's not integration by partial fractions. It's too complicated to do in a basic way. And if you start converting the problem, um, like taking out the square root, etc., um, you might start to get a better feel for it. So let's kind of talk through it as we go. Um, if we change this x squared, um, as a rule, you can always change something in a square root um, by raising that same thing to the one half. Um, 2x to the 3 minus 4 to the one half is the same as the square root of 2x to the 3 minus 4. Um, so we change that to the x. Um, so you know, um, you know you can't do this easily. One good way to tell is um, you know that if you use U substitution um, and you're going to use U for this part right here, you're going to end up taking the derivative, um, which is going to turn this x cubed into an x squared. Um, and your um, x squared might have a chance to cancel with this x squared. So if you ever identify that whatever you're going to use um, as your U, in a, U, in a potential U substitution problem has um, something with an exponent that's one higher than what's out here, since this is x to the third and this is x to the second, this being one higher than this, um, good chance that it might be a U substitution problem. So let's try it. Um, we'll say U is 2x to the third minus 4. Um, then taking the derivative of u here, du is 6x squared multiplying 3 by 2 to get 6, and then subtracting 1 from the exponent. 6x squared, um, and then of course uh, the derivative of 4 or any constant is 0. So here's our derivative, and then always, always, always add dx so that we can solve for dx. So now we're going to solve for dx by dividing both sides by 6x squared to move this over. So it's going to end up being um, du over 6x squared equals dx. Um, now that we have that, we can plug um, u in for 2x to the third minus 4, and we can plug um, du over 6x squared in for dx. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to have the integral of x squared times u um, don't miss that one half up there, u to the one half, and then for dx we have du over 6x squared. Okay, so um, this is great. It worked out how we thought it was going to. Um, we have an x squared in the numerator and an x squared in the denominator, so they both cancel. So x squared, x squared. Um, now all we need to do is um, simplify this so that we can take the integral. Um, I'm going to go ahead and erase uh, everything up here and start um, working from the top again. Sorry for the lack of space. I'm actually going to leave the u in so we can use it for reference later. The u was 2x to the 3 minus 4. Okay, so um, we're gonna we're gonna circle back up here. First, we're gonna take the six out, and the six is in the de denominator, so it's gonna come out in front of the integral sign as one sixth. So we're gonna have one sixth times the integral of, and all that's left is u to the one half du. So um, the way we're gonna integrate that is uh, have the one sixth out here. Um, then the parenthesis u, um, of course we always add 1 to the exponent, so 1 half plus 1 is 1 and a half or 3 halves, 
and then of course um, the, the, the coefficient, um, which here is implied as a 1, 1 divided by the new exponent, 3 halves, um, of course is 2 thirds. Um, and that's right, right? Yeah, it cancels. Okay, so, um, so that's uh, the integral there. And then, um, of course, we always add c to the end. So now all we have to do is um, plug back in for u and simplify. So I'm going to go ahead and, so we don't get confused here, I'll have to write kind of small, but um, multiply these two. So we've got uh, 2 over 18, it's looking like. 2 over 18, which I'm just going to go ahead and simplify that right now to 1 ninth. Um, 1 ninth times, plug back in for u, 2x to the third minus 4, 2x to the third minus 4, um, and then 2 the 3 halves, and that's everything, plus c. And sorry for the <laughs> for being squished. But that's our answer right there.